Well, Holly, it is Thursday morning. I've got to get it right. Cornishman Day today. <clears throat> I know I made a mistake last week. I called it Monday, but there we are. I hope everybody's well. I'm putting a few videos on. I've got a, quite a few to do yet, so um, I'll be going, I expect, for a week or two if the Lord will spare me. But they're just really to, um, so everybody, you know, it's a community thing, really, is to, to make sure that, well, people know what's in some shops and what aren't some, and what is there, and a little bit of history. So uh, I just hope that. You know, it's bringing a bit of pleasure, you know, just making it. But it's for all of us, really. So uh, it's lots of pleasures. I didn't know what sold things. So uh, it's good. It's good for hail. That's all that matters. Anyhow, birthdays today. Stevie Ireland today. I just worked with Stevie. Happy birthday to your boy. Jackie Owen, dear friend of mine. I live up corner now. Jackie Owen, happy birthday to you today. Dave Stoggell is his birthday today as well. So... That's three of you gone, anyhow. And then we've got Bill Mann, he's tomorrow. Happy birthday to you tomorrow, boy. You know, Mel Sheridan, another great friend of mine down the road here. Mel Sheridan. Jonathan Ryan. These are Saturdays now, these are Saturdays. And Sam Dietz. That's Sam down the road. And I want to thank you, Sam, for coming up this week and doing what you did for Julie. Um, absolutely so much appreciated. And thank you so very, very much. So uh, just... Have a lovely day. or well, have a lovely weekend, everybody. That's the most important. Now, I'm going to do a little poem here today. It's called Sam and the Paraffin Man. Sam came home one evening, the same as all in life, to find the paraffin man had absconded with his wife, her coat from off the hanger and her booties from the stair had vanished, disappeared, and furthermore, they were not there. He came in through the kitchen. The place was cold and still. He tiptoed up the stairs in case his missus might be ill. But nagging doubts had they gathered till what really did him in was all across the landing he could smell the paraffin. He took his knuckle duster and he pressed it, it on his fist. He also took a brick in case the knuckle duster missed. He sat down he set off down the darkened road towards the caravan where he believed his missus hugged the paraffin man. Oh, the paraffin man it is, muttered Sam at every stride. A little bird had told him till the lorry stayed outside. And all the neighbours down the street joined in the fun and games and said with all the oil Sam's house might well burst into flames. He came upon the caravan, his temper running riot, but even he had to agree the place was very quiet. But then it quickly dawned on Sam that silence was a trick, so he rushed up to the fanlight and hit it with a brick. Come out here with my missus, he bellowed at the door. I've heard about your lorry parked outside two hours or more. The caravan door opened to reveal a woman's head, and then a woman's nightdress, for she had just got out of bed. She said, I'm not the paraffin man, but I am one of his daughters. You look so worried, Sam. Can I pour oil on troubled waters? She beckoned in the caravan and Sam stepped up so quick and raptured by her booty, he forgot to drop the brick. Now unbeknown to Sam, his faithless wife, she had not fled, but with the power of a man, she was hiding in a shed. She crept up to the window, though she had to kneel and crouch, and saw her husband Samuel suffocating on the couch. She took a pail of water and she flung it in the door, just for to cool his ardour, only that and nothing more. Too late she realised that it was paraffin she threw, and they all went up to heaven on a cloud of S.O. blue. But on a winter's evening, if your feet are less than quick, you might smell an oily fragrance, you might see a ghostly wick. You might hear the distant rumble of a passing caravan, for things that passion can't ignite, paraffin can. Have a nice weekend.